Yep, another adventure van. This one is Cahaba by Tiffin. Tiffin well known for really quality class A and class C rigs. This is their entry into the class B market with an adventure van. This actually is a little different than the Revel, the Tranquility, the Sanctuary, the Terrain, and some of the other, um, we'll call them Revel knockoffs, I don't know. Um, Storyteller's confident in a deal of its own. These guys take a little bit different approach. This is the floor plan, 19 SC. MSRP, show price. Let me show you inside. There is actually some really different and I would say even innovative things going on about this adventure van. I want to point out to you. And again, three things I like, one I don't like coming up. Let's jump inside. So the first thing we notice is there is a lagoon table mount here. There are two tables that I noticed. And what's different is that there's no flip down table. So you can actually have a lagoon mount table, which is kind of cool on the outside. Really huge, wide. Thank you running board versus the wimpy ones. Handle right here, awesome. Look at this, boys and girls. Well, not only does it have a Volta system, really ginormous, it's got a front lounge workspace, albeit small, even has a cup holder. How groovy is that? Outlet right there for you. So the seat spins around, you can do some work. So this could be a permanent workstation, I love that. Here's a little bit of a cubby, cool. These are utility panels. This is your uh, multiplex wiring for black tank, etc. This is the bathroom, which is interesting because the minute you step in, you kind of see the commode. I'm not sure I'm a fan of that, but I am a fan of shower. This is not Trumont. This is Timberline, heat and hot water. It's kind of an instant on demand hot water. It runs off chassis fuel. And what I want to point out is in here, this has the shower miser, which it recirculates the water until the water gets up to temperature. And then this turns gray, letting you know the water is hot for a shower. And then you can flip the lever and you get hot water out of here. And then the hot water from your shower goes down the drain, not clean water going down the drain to get the hot water to this point. So shower miser, very, very cool. It does have a, a rail here so you can put uh, one of the storage boards in here and store stuff if you're not gonna use it. This is a real toilet. It is not, not, it is not a cassette toilet. This is a real toilet. Flushes has a has a 27 gallon combined black and gray. How cool is that? Once, two, empty and you're done. I love that. I would call that innovative in the adventure van space. Everybody else has a cassette toilet. Hello, I am not a big fan of that at all. What's kind of cool is they have this um, shower door, which clips closed right here. And no need for a shower curtain, which is really, really nice. But until you get settled and parked, you're kind of looking at your commode, which I guess I am too, just not when you walk in. Looking at the galley, a few things going on. There is the isotherm fridge, which is pretty great. Um, a little bit of, I'm gonna call that the freezer space, because it's probably where the, I don't know, it's coldest, but there's not a freezer that I can see. Uh, this basket comes out. What's kind of cool is this, watch this. Yeah, it's got a glass bottom, which is kind of interesting. Um, and then you put these in, and then this is where your sodas go, half and half, something like that. But pretty small fridge. Isotherm, though, very, very high quality. Solid surface countertops. And what they're hiding is the induction cooktop. That's cool. And then the sink. Now, there is no counter extension flip up. So if you're not using the cooktop surface, you can always use that if you're using the sink. And my guess is you won't be using this very often because unlike most of the other adventure vans, this comes with a microwave. Yes, I cook in my microwave multiple times during the day. So I'm really glad to see a microwave in an adventure van. Pretty small pull-out drawer here. So you can get some stuff in here. Now what they've done is amplify your view space 
at the expense of having additional storage. Most of the others have a cabinet come clear out to here, so your view is really cut off. That is something that's probably debatable. Um, I really appreciate the view. And when you're in a van, you just need to you know, rethink your stuff, in my opinion. Max Air Fan, well, I'm not sure what brand is. Dometic, Dometic, all right, Dometic. Um, fan right outside the shower, so that would suck all the fumes out. Moving into the great room back here, twin beds, so you could probably sleep, if you're used to it, a twin bed with this thing removed. It would be skinny, but you could probably do it. We'll get the sizes, we'll put that uh, below. Um, storage, positive lock, really beautiful. Not carpeted, but okay. Really nice woodwork. Tiffin's well known for that. Screen, no cabinet here, which gives it an open feeling. Cabinet here. On the storage, what they've done for you on storage is give you one of these pull away storage cubbies hard to see sorry about that this one's kind of cool because it has two versions the uh, one to hold it in then one here so you can put stuff in both places this one's same but on this side is the inverter come on <laughs> and uh so it's solid here but you can put stuff on both sides of that so if you want the big bed here's how that works there are three rails and they simply fit into this spot here in that spot there one two three and then what goes in the middle is where you're looking for the uh the platform board right ah very clever watch this this is solid on the back so what you do is you kind of roll this down and then it goes on the three rails like that to fill in so pretty ingenious there in my opinion it's using existing pieces to make the bed, if you need the big bed, not having extra stuff carried around. So good job, Tiffin, on that. And soft close. And speaking of the Volta system, this is where it lives. All of the components are on the inside of the vehicle, which is really, really great. Got a screen in back. Automotive windows do open, it looks like, and you get your you know, cover shades, which are great. A little more netting store stuff here. The lighting is really nicely done. Mercedes cab is a Mercedes cab.
So to me, one of the ironies, the giant irony of an off-road, rugged adventure van is pretty minimal ground clearance in a lot of cases. Let me show you this one. I'll put the camera down below. And it looks to me like the lowest point of the rig is right here. That would be the drain, and that is definitely less than six inches. I'm gonna guess probably five or six. Hard to see here in the video, I apologize. But not very big at all. And you're now looking up underneath the chassis because so they put in some steel, I'm guessing steel bracing and framing around vulnerable points of the freshwater, which is way on the other side, and this being the combined black and gray. So you can see that they've done their best to try and remedy this ground clearance by putting some additional you know, protection around it. But um, you know, again, if you're going off-roading, um, which is probably not what the Kevin customer is going to do. Uh, that's my speculation. I just would love to know how many of the rugged adventure vans actually go off grid um, for extended periods of time. Maybe a weekend on a you know gravel road, something like that. But uh, most of these have pretty um, small ground clearance. Let me show you a few other things that are outside. So it comes with the BF Goodrich K02 tires. Has a spare on the back already on a beefy rack, I'll call it. Um, it's got the ladder already. So that's cool. Got a big deck up on top uh, that you can attach stuff to, including lights in the corners. Light in the corner, right there. Down here, you got the wide to match the other side. This is where your water goes. This is pretty cool. That's how you attach your drain pipe. That would probably be okay. You just anti flush water in. Step. Again, really wide, doable running board, which is great. Got your um, GF brake outlet. And then you got one of these, which is uh, what a lot of the adventure fans have and use strapping, uh, bungee cords, ratchet straps, things like that to attach stuff to this platform already ready to go for you. And a really beefy hitch and step. I definitely will be using this for a step. I'm glad they put that on. And then here's the smart plug, uh, which is on the side of uh, the back here and not on the side, having not cut into the, into the side of the van, which is pretty smart. Of this adventure van. I have to applaud Tiffin for doing something different. I have to applaud Tiffin for putting in some pieces like a real toilet that are uh, different than the other guys. Let me show you three things I really like and one I don't. Item number one and that is the work surface. Spin the chair around and you are at work. With a cup holder, kind of cool. Taking up a little bit of extra space that I'm not sure I would appreciate that, but putting in a 
work area. Really one thing I really love about the system. Second thing I love about the system, right here, that would be a beautiful porcelain toilet that has a, a single tank, gray and black, 27 gallons, pretty awesome. And the third thing I really like is a microwave. It kind of boggles my mind that the other guys don't put a microwave in. I cook in my microwave all the time. And the one thing I don't really like is I see two different sizes of tables and we saw the lagoon mount outside, right? Yeah, right there. But I don't see a lagoon mount on the inside, which is kind of weird. I'm looking around for it. Maybe it's hiding. But it's not in the obvious places I would think it would be. So um, that's a little strange to me. And you probably know how I feel about a permanent table. Um, not having a single table access in the back is kind of weird. So I'd be buying me a lagoon table mount and a pole for uh, a table in here. Could this work for me? Probably not. But um, it's really a nice way for a Tiffin customer who's typically a class A or C. If they're looking to downsize into something like this that they're used to. Very residential in nature. Uh, really high-end uh, finishes and really well put together. No squishy walls. It just feels really quality. Overall, I really like the rig. Um, again, just a big thumb up to Tiffin for trying something different. I wouldn't say it's really a rugged off-venture, you know, off-road. You can put some garage storage stuff in here, but for me, this is for uh, middle-aged folks who want to you know, do some fun things a little differently. Downsizing certainly would be on the on the case uh, use case for this kind of a situation, but. Um, I'm curious to see what you think. Um, would this work for you instead of a Rebel? Uh, what I do like about this, again, is is some of those things I pointed out, and the width of the aisle is really much more spacious than, than the Rebel, the Tranquility, the Sanctuary, and the Terrain. Good job, Tiffin, doing something different.